In a previous episode of Fact and Shade, I gave you guys reasons why a lot of Zambia music are not on the chart, and I think solutions are now being put in place. <laughs> Now, does it mean that my video got to the hands of some Zambian record label? Well, that's a story for another day. SHUT UP! I have a stronger belief in the future of the Zambian music scene compared to now that the OGs are still in the game. The likes of Matitu, Slav D, J Rocks, ETC. Where Z Music is heading to with the help of these young guys in the block is astonishing and the numbers they are doing is really, really crazy. Today we are going to use four artists from Zambia and I'll show you why I believe they will do better than the OGs in the block. Is that possible? The four artists we are going to use for examples today are 76 Drums, J Trigger, Ace Trap, and Modikai. Now take 76 Drums for example. He's like the street favorite amongst the four of them and not just because he raps mainly in Bemba but because he says things that the street relates to. Take his newest hit song Big Machine for example, he talks about the respect that everyone in the street deserves to be getting because they are the real ones basically. This originality from 76 drums is what I believe will take him so far in the Zambian scene. Now I said something from the previous episode about the excessive use of Zambian language on their songs. I'm here to take it back because I've come to a realization that when you eventually make a hit song, everyone is going to vibe to that song, whether they understand the language or not. You see why they Chris? They're always using the language. When you're using a language to sing a song, always try to make sure that the beat is on point. Because if it's not on point, you are wasting time. is another artist that I feel like is going to have a very very good 2024 in the Zambian scene. First off, weeks ago he dropped his EP Give Us Iwe featuring Zlatan and Efan from Nigeria, Maina, Maina from Kenya and J Cash and Tilo from the motherland Zambia. All in all, you can feel the collaboration the trigger brought to the table and with the help of his big uncle and Zambian's favorite Nigerian artist, Ice Prince Zamani, he was able to get these big names on his project. Nah, it's good to get money. Oh. Now, let's not forget the fact that the record label J trigger is under Cloud9 Music Africa is also doing their part in helping him push his music and distribute his music both far and wide. Modikai, on the other hand, first got his recognition when he won a Zambian Got Talent type of thing in 2012. And now that he's popping, he's under the Kazadi Music Group, owned by David Kazadi, a Zambian film director, cinematographer, and a businessman. Thank you. Now, the Kazadi Music Group are really helping Modikai push his song the proper way possible, and also stating the fact that the fans love his songs due to how special it makes them feel. All the songs Modikai made last year were all bangers, ranging from fire to money to bad energy and even his recent song that he dropped December 2023, Maria. His vocals and the storylines behind his songs are really really unique and how he says it actually make people love his songs. Now, Ace Trap, the final case study for today's video is with a renowned legend in the Zambian rap scene, j Rocks under the headphone music. Now the record label are really helping him push his song in the proper way possible and on the flip side his songs are so palatable to the newer generation boys and girls. Girls want the boys with the cash and the whips, boys want the girl with the ass and the hips, when nobody want love with just mess and lip. Now Astrap has made songs with big names, the likes of j Rock, Toela Kaira and even Umo Sefela Chile to show you the influence he has having j Rock by his side. So all in all, these boys are really plugged in heavy with their record labels and the record labels are really doing their best to push their songs in the right way possible. And in no time, I believe when we'll be checking the top 100 charts in Africa, we'll be seeing some more Zambian songs on it. So help us God. Amen. <laughs>